This video goes over how to set up and run a thermal comfort simulation in Sapphire Architecture and Sapphire Systems. Thermal comfort analysis helps you understand whether building occupants will be comfortable. It can apply to buildings with or without mechanical heating and cooling, but one common scenario in temperate climates is a building that has heating but no cooling, uh, often typical of a school or a residence. I'll be using this scenario in this video. In this case, I'll want to run the thermal comfort simulation with natural ventilation enabled. Now, you'll notice that we have to do a few things in order to run that analysis. For natural ventilation, there are some requirements regarding the HVAC system type and infiltration settings. I'll go ahead and have Sapphire make those changes for me. We cover them in more detail in another video. Then, I'll click here to activate thermal comfort analysis. These simulations typically take longer because they use 15 minute time steps rather than the one hour time steps used for energy simulations. Before we run the thermal comfort simulation, let's do a quick check of our natural ventilation by doing a free area analysis. So we'll click on the free area tab. Now free area analysis is a quick check to see whether each zone has enough operable glazing to get enough natural ventilation. I can see that a few zones have failed that initial test, and if I click on one, I can see exactly how much operable glazing I would need to add in order to pass. I could also adjust some of the assumptions in the Natural Ventilation tab, and the results of the free area study would update automatically. Now in this case, I would probably want to add a little bit more operable glazing to some of these failing zones, but let me go ahead and assume that I'm comfortable with the results as they stand, and I'll go back to the Thermal Comfort tab. You'll see a few different outputs available in the Thermal Comfort tab. The first is Dry Bulb Temperature, which is, uh, uses air temperature only. Operative temperature tends to be more useful or representative of comfort because it also incorporates other factors such as humidity and radiant temperature of surfaces. PMV, or predicted mean vote, is typically used for condition spaces and is referred to in some types of rating systems. You'll also notice a few settings at the top of each tab. For example, what percent of hours represents a pass for thermal comfort purposes. The dry bulb analysis will use the set point range that's defined in the space use tab uh, to define what constitutes comfort so it uses these values here. Whereas for operative temperature and PMV, you can define that range uh, in that tab. So I'm going to go ahead and run an operative temperature analysis. I'm going to expand the comfort zone slightly, in this case. And now I'm ready to run my analysis. We'll run the analysis and look at the results in a separate video.